Hello, I'm Dr. Dave Yoder. More than 25 years ago, God gave me a kindred spirit with missionaries. Although I desired to serve on a foreign field, God did not want me to go at that time. Now, after working 19 years in the local church, God has opened the door for national pastor training in foreign fields, allowing me to be the national training director with 1040 International. Please permit me to explain the 1040 window. The 1040 window is an area of the world from the 10th to the 40th parallel above the equator. It stretches across the continents of Europe, Africa, and Asia. This forms a rectangle that is known as the 1040 window. There are 66 countries and 3.6 billion people inside this area of land containing multi-cultures, many languages, and vast terrains. A staggering 95% of the unreached people groups live in the 1040 window, which is the highest concentration of people compared to any other area of the world, and yet it is the least evangelized. Currently, over 3 billion people do not know anyone who can tell them about Jesus. If a list of their names were read, it would take over 300 years. At this time, for every hundred dollars given to missions, only one cent goes to reach these people. The reasons why this area lacks evangelism are obvious. Governmental restrictions and the false religions of Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism. However, the Bible commands us in Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations to overcome these obstacles, it is 1040's objective to base teams strategically within areas of various safe holds. Because many of these people groups have no Bible, God has burdened me to teach the national pastors the great truths of the Word of God, as well as develop curriculum for Bible theological training. To accomplish our purpose, it is vital to work with national men and women that are familiar with the language and culture. It is our belief that the nationals will win more souls and have a greater effect on their own people than English-speaking Americans. Therefore, Bible conferences will be held to train the native pastors and God-called laymen to plant churches, to teach and disciple new believers, and to grow strong Christian communities while spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout their region. As we teach and train these nationals, they, in turn, will reach other people in areas close to foreigners. While empowering the nationals, 1040 International will train them how to translate the Bible and biblical material into their native language. This process is critical. Without a Bible in their language, it is extremely unlikely the nationals will have a long-lasting church. It is the desire of 1040 International to make each project as indigenous as possible, allowing the national people to work in the service of God within the boundaries of their own culture. This great work will certainly occupy us until His return. But I believe God has given me an additional burden. While evangelizing the people in the 1040 window, it is my heart's desire to help our new and veteran missionaries currently serving on the field. Being a former missions director and knowing many missionaries worldwide, 1040 International will allow me the freedom to assist active missionaries globally, encouraging them to stay strong for the Lord. In corresponding with missionaries, they have related to me that one of their greatest needs is face-to-face -face fellowship with those who care and pray for them. It is my desire to work side-by-side -side with them, preaching, teaching, soul winning, and aiding in mechanical obstacles, thereby giving them a time of rejuvenation. By the Lord's grace, this will uplift their spirits and relieve some of their burdens. The Lord's return is imminent, therefore it is imperative to keep our current missionaries on the field, since time and labor is required to replace them. The Bible says in Proverbs 27, 17, Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with you. In the last few seconds of this presentation, think what your life would be like if you had no access to a Bible. Imagine what your life would be. Will you join me in this great work? Time is short. The world is in tremendous spiritual darkness. 
Will you partner with me so that another generation is not lost?